Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stefan. Welcome to another video in which we compare whether we could change theoretically the canisters from these two inhalers in between the, the little covers and see whether we would get the same effect. And this comes from a question that I received on the channel. And it goes like this. Can you use the Foster canister in the Ventolin one? I don't fancy carrying a pink inhaler around with me. Thank you. So an interesting question. Obviously, some people may be uncomfortable with the color of their inhaler, and that's absolutely fine. So it's something to think about. But just as a word of a disclaimer, what I'm about to show you in this video, I please, please do not try this at home. Please do not tinker with your inhalers. Do not change the devices because you will get different uh, levels of particles, that you, different sizes of partic particles that will be sprayed out. That will alter the pharmacology of that medication and it will not be the same treatment anymore. The dose will probably be altered. So they've been tested with a cer certain device. So if you play around with the devices, it might be a different story. But that being said, I found this to be a very interesting project to try out because I never thought about doing this. So there we go. Let's do it now in this video. So I would like to first show you a little bit about uh, these two devices devices just to understand how they work so they both contain so this is the foster inhaler now this is a combination inhaler it's mostly used as a controller for asthma for example or sometimes in the case of COPD so you would use it maybe twice a day regularly and it's a controller it's like a regular medication this one is a reliever inhaler so this blue inhaler you would use it as needed to relieve breathlessness so for example in an asthma attack you might use this one now these two obviously they're very different but they look the same. So the little cover looks exactly the same, right? So if you see, if you look at them, you know, all over the background, they look absolutely the same. However, this one has been designed to have a slower plume of particles. So that makes it very interesting because it, it makes people inhale slightly differently. In order to get the optimum dose, you might have to inhale a bit slower than with the Ventolin, but that would allow you to catch more of the medication. So it's a little bit of a different technique that you would, it's pretty, pretty hard to explain unless you do it. But once you get used to the correct technique, you will know, you will feel how, what feels right. And please, there are some other videos on my channel on inhaler technique. I urge you to maybe look at those, to take the inhalers with you at your consultations, because you may want to show your doctor whether you're using the inhaler correctly or not, and they can give you some direct, direct feedback. That being said, so... Let me just show you what the plume of particles looks like when we use the Ventolin, because this one is the faster one, just disclaimer. So let me just aim this for my through my face and then see what looks like. So you've seen that the plume of particles moves quite quickly. Let me do that again. All right, so that was the Ventolin in its original canister holder. The Foster, you don't need to shake before, but basically the plume would look like this. It's a bit slower. I'm not sure if you've seen that. If I'll try to do it again. So it's a slower plume. Now it's going to be a bit tricky to trigger these at the same time, but I'm going to try my best. So let me see if I can get them over the black background somehow to, to try and show you how they move. So maybe let's do this and then just try to compare left and right and see whether they, they move the same. Let's try that again so that I'm trying to time it the right time. I don't know if you've seen it, but if you are looking at this in real life, this one's a little bit slower. Now, just remember how this moves if I do this. So if I click it, it will release the plume like this. Now let me swap over the other canister. So I'm gonna put the Vantelian canister in it. I'm shake it before put it in and remember how quickly that moved. Now, it slowed down the plume because this one has a different size of that little hole through which the things get sprayed out. Now that sounds weird. So if I click it, it doesn't sound like a Ventolin inhaler anymore. I'm not sure if you've heard that, but let me try and, and put it closer to the microphone. So it feels as if some of the droplets get stuck there. So that's probably not a good thing. Now this would be the opposite to the question if I would use the Ventolin in the pink one, in the pink holder. However, if I do 
the opposite. So this is the Foster canister. And let me use it in its original packaging, first of all. And you will see, this is how it releases the plume. This is how it should be. If I move it to the other one, so doing what the person in the comment suggested, you will see that it moves differently. Did you hear that difference? I'll do it again. So this is it. This is the Foster in its original holder. And this is the Foster in the Ventolin holder. Now that moves a lot faster, doesn't it? Even faster than the original Ventolin maybe. So what I was trying to demonstrate by doing this is that when you use different holders, it may not be the same dose of medication that you're getting because you will have to change your inhaler technique. And it might be that some of the droplets will get stuck in the little device. So for example, when I, when I was putting the Ventolin one in the pink Foster holder, it sounded funny. It sounded as if some big droplets were getting stuck there. So you're probably losing some of the dose. It slows down the plume, but it's not the same thing. And the size of the particles that are released by these two are different somehow. So you are altering actually the dynamics, the engineering behind the device. And you may not get the same effect because you may not be getting the same dose. Or you might be getting a lot of particles that maybe get stuck to the wrong side of the, the throat because different size particles will settle at different levels in the airway. So anyway, I wanted to make this video just to show you that you could theoretically move inhaler canisters around from one device to the other, from one holder to the next, but it may not no longer be the same inhaler. And you are actually doing some tweaks that might be detrimental to your health. So this is not really like Ikea hacks, where you take bits of furniture and patch them all together and create something new and fancy. That may come, there may come a time for that, but I don't know if it's very wise to do it with pharmacologically active medication that you are using to control a specific condition. Hopefully you found this helpful or at least amusing. And if you have further questions, do leave them in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer in future videos. Thank you very much and all the best.